Okay, so we're gonna start by applying product to freshly washed hair. Today, I used a thermal spray and a leave-in. Next, you wanna section for rollers. Each section should be the size of a roller. So you want to apply your rollers in a mohawk section. Saturate the hair first, detangle, smooth with a fine tooth comb, and then lock your roller in. I slowed this part down so you could see the tension at the roots. That's the fine tooth comb. Grab your roller. Make sure you're keeping those roots taut as you roll down. Penning, you want to make your pens as close to the head as possible. Once you reach the curve of the head, you can move on to the right or to the left and that will leave you room in the bottom of the head, top part of the neck portion to place two rollers. Thank you. 
last one, Finn, you're gonna apply a triangle neck. And dry for about 45 minutes to an hour, just depending on the length of the hair. Hers took a little bit longer than 45 minutes. Drying, you're gonna brush out the rollers I used a detangling brush and section her off with a blow dry. I blow dry from the bottom working towards the face and I work in horizontal parts until I reach the top of the ear then I start taking U-shaped parts. section but I do this until I reach the top of the head I outline the entire horizontal section with the heat around the roots and I also remove any huge big bumps or any noticeable ridges that I see from the rollers so this is just me outlining and then I'll go back in and break it into smaller sections to break up the sections from the rollers. So here I'm just outlining. You don't want to put too much heat on the hair because you're going to go back through. This section was shot almost eye level, so it's really easy to see what I'm doing. What I just did with my finger was break the section in half, right next to where a roller mark was, and that's to help blend parts. Right now, I have a detangling brush, and I'm detangling and gathering tension with the two fingers that are holding the section. 
Then I go and place my brush on top and I'm gonna outline this section. So I go on top and I keep shifting the brush so I can outline each section with the heat and I pivot the nose of the blow dryer to make sure I'm not burning my client. And if you're doing this yourself, you'll learn how to pivot the blow dryer not to burn yourself. So here I am going underneath the section. I'm doing right now is pulling enough tension to straighten the hair to visually straighten the hair but you don't have to pull the hair really hard it's just a light tug the hair will stretch straight and then you apply the heat and just maintain the tension once you get the roots smooth you can move on to the mid lengths and the ends Depending on the effect you want, you can use a different technique with the brush. Here's another section that you can see pretty well. I'm outlining the section with the heat going on top on the right side, I'm on the left side, and then I stick the brush underneath to get the texture underneath. I cut that, that part out, sorry. <laughs> and then I go back on top. I'm pretty sure I stick it back underneath, yep. All I'm doing is just angling the nozzle not to burn her, but you have to get some heat on anything you want to straighten. And just the light tension, and I'm just gliding through that hair. Unfortunately, it took me so long to film. The last section was cut off. So this is the last section you'll be able to see me blow dry, but I'm pretty sure you can use your imagination and recreate the style. I'll post the finished style 
at the end she usually wears pin curls out which is why this style is called rollos con anchoa which translates into rollers with pin curls or rollers with anchovies which they call pin curls for some reason so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial I'll put links to anything that I use in the description and you can also visit my Instagram if you want more information on my company or about the rollers and the pens.